Hi guys, Darren Scholes here. Here I am uh, down at the range at uh, Hemi Finance in Cambridge and I'm working on my driver today and I just want to share with you a few of the things that I'm working on with my driver that I think might help you as well. I'm particularly working on today's drill on my angle of attack and T height and ball position in my setup. Now when I'm talking about angle of attack, I want you to imagine that if if the uh, driver, the center of the driver where the loft is measured, if it's traveling parallel to the ground, we'll call that zero degrees parallel. But what I want you to, to try and do with your driver, and this is the difference between the driver and every other club, is that the center of the face with your driver wants to be ideally traveling in an upward direction at the point of impact. Okay, now to do that, you have to work on your ball position and your tee height as well. So the reason why we want to hit it on the upswing to go uh, to talk about angle of attack is that we want to reduce back spin so that the ball is launching with low spin, then it's going to land and it's going to run more. It's all about the spin rates. Now we work with launch monitors to measure that. So once again, I want to encourage you to tee the ball up quite high. Ideally, we want the ball half to two thirds above the crown of the driver. Okay. And we want to place the ball more forwards towards the left foot so you're catching it later on the arc of your swing. Okay, so get working on that as well. Work on your ball flight and your spin rates with your driver. Really try and sweep the ball off the tee up into the air. So if you're a player and you're breaking the tees, you're probably going downwards and that's a distance killer with the driver. You don't want the driver swinging down into the ball. That's a big no-no and a big distance killer. If you're hitting down on it, the spin's gonna go through the roof and it's gonna stall, you're gonna lose distance. So once again, angle of attack guys, sweep the ball into the air and experiment with your ball position and your T height to encourage that sweeping motion with the driver. Okay, hope that helps. Thanks for watching. Darren Skull signing off.